What's up, YouTube? Here we go now. Today, um, we're going to do something uh, that has to do with the password brute force, okay? We're going to do password brute force, but in, in this exercise or in this video, we're going to do something, I mean, a bit different in brute forcing uh, online passwords. This video is part of Joker challenge, okay? Joker is, you know, vulnerable hub machine, new vulnerable hub or new, 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 <laughs> new vulnerable machine. We're going to proceed now with the part that um, challenges us to brute force an online password or uh, plain HTTP authentication to guess the password of a user. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. But of course, I'm not going to uh, walk you through the scanning and the identification processes. I have a lot of videos. Uh, showing you how to do the scanning, how to do the identification and identify the open ports and the associated services. Now, guys, let's step right into the idea of this video. Okay, now suppose I have, suppose you have an online website, okay, or web server, whatever, okay, and if you try to navigate to one of its directories, okay, it's going to ask you for username and password. This is called plain HTTP authentication. Although it's kind of, you know, not many websites that adhere to security standards still using this uh, plain authentication, but, you know, many websites and many renowned websites are still using this kind of authentication to secure their sensitive directories, which is totally wrong. Don't use plain authentication. Um, okay, now... We can use a uh, perf suit for this purpose. We're gonna first um, add an, uh, switch on the interceptor. So this is on. Let me click on cancel and reload the page. All right. Now I have the request that has been sent to the server. Now, all I have to do now is to click forward to see how the authentication process um, takes place. Now I click on forward. Once I click on that, I will see the authentication um, dialog over here. I need to click uh, to put the username and password. But since I don't have these over here, I don't have the guys, I don't have these guys over here. I have now to put like uh, something experimental guys. So in this challenge, the username is Joker. You can find the username when you navigate to Actually, I hate talking about these kind of methods. You can find it by navigating to the IP and then secret TXT. We'll find the username, okay? Now we have the username. Let's put random password to see how the authentication process takes place. Okay. Now let's just study the request that has been sent from the client to the server. I can see here <clears throat> authorization basic and here I have kind of base64 um, hash. Sorry, base64 over here. So now I need to understand what is this, what is that? Okay, let me grab a copy of this. Go to my preferred area. Minimize. And let's decode this echo. Let's paste the other over here. Phase 64 decode. Okay, so I can see here the username I have entered and the password as well. It's kind of, you know, um, since many websites, you know, many authentication methods don't use these kind of combination. I mean, they don't have, they, do, don't, they don't put username and password together uh, in a base64 hash this way, as you can see. The username and password are all put together to form one base64, as you can see here. So how can we crack this, guys? The only way to do that, we need to provide, or we need to brute force the username and password in a way that is or that simulates or looks like this, okay? So you need to send the request to the uh, server in this way, username and the password in this formula over here. 
and we need to encode the request to be base64. Other than that, I cannot correct the password. I need to pass my uh, username and password in a base64 as the server handles that. So, quick rule of thumb, guys, is before you brute force, you need to study how the authentication process is taking place between you and the server. Now, for now, let's say I have the word list over here. Suppose you have a word list. Now, guys, by the way, for this challenge, you need to uh, have, sorry, rocku.txt, the rocku.txt word list. Use this word list for this challenge. But to save you time, you need to um, extract the top 100 password from the file based on the hint in the secret file I told you about. So you can pass hit and specify the number of lines, 100, and then specify the word list and direct the output, as you can see, the same command, okay? Now, after we obtain the word list, we need to use that word list to crack the user, the password, but how, we, we, need, we need to fine tune our word list. How, guys? We need to open the word list over here, and you need to put it in this formula over here. Username and password. Not only the password, we used to crack you know, accounts and online services using only the password, given the username. But in this uh, challenge, guys, you need to put the user and password in this formula over here. So the next step, guys, after we adhere to the formula that is uh, dealt between the client and the server in the authentication process, we need now to uh, make base64 encoding of every combination of username and password so that we can send a valid request to the server. How can we do that? First, you need to send that request to intruder. And from here, you're gonna go to positions. And since we are interested only in finding out this, we're gonna click on add. And then you can select sniper since we are only um, fuzzing one I mean, it's only one word or one password. So payloads, here you're gonna click on load, go to word list. So here it is. And now after you click on the start attack, you need to remember that you need to pass the request as a page 64. So you go to payload processing, click on add, Select group type, and from here, click on encode, select base64. And now, all of the combinations over here, whether it's username and password, or whether it is only password in case you are trying to brute force another server or another machine or another test client, whatever, all every combination will be a, a base64 encoded, guys. Now, after that, feel free to start attack, and click on OK. Now we're gonna monitor the process from this dialog. Now guys, as you can see here, from the status uh, response, all of the combinations is ret are returning you know, 401, which means that all of these so far are wrong combination of username and passwords. I need to see something different or something, I mean, different than 401. Uh, let's see here. Nothing so far. But you know, you learned the concept, okay? Not all the time you're gonna send, uh, you're gonna brute force the, or sorry, not all the time you're gonna handle the brute force process as only sending combination of passwords. Sometimes you need to send combination of username and password even if you know the username beforehand. 
Okay, here we go, guys. So you see the P64 encoded hash over here returned something different, 200, which means that this one over here, this guy over here, is the one that we want. We want is the, the one that we were looking for. So we take that, click on copy, and minimize these. We go back, and from here, we're going to issue echo is 64 decode. Now I have obtained the combination of the right username and password. Now let me go back to my proxy, and from here, I'm going to replace take the right combination and put that in the request over here. Great. Now we click on forward, 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 forward. Let's see here. Uh, nevertheless, let me Wait, let's switch that off. No, 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 no. You're kidding. I think. Okay, let me close the guy. See, the browser has been stuck. Okay, so. Okay, Docker, and the password was Hanna. Okay, so guys, as you can see, we got access to the internal portal. That's the essence of this uh, video, guys. Now, I'm gonna continue doing this uh, exercise uh, offline, away from your eyes. Um, and if I see something meaningful that you could learn from, I'm going to do a video on, uh, on that and teach you a different concept, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.